Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim. <laughs> Suddenly is the fifth studio album released by Caribou. However, this artist uh, goes by three different names, apparently. He has another alias called Manitoba and another one called Daphne with a PH. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'd like to think that I am. Anyway, he's made actually tons and tons of music revolving several albums, several EPs. I just happened to stumble upon this one, and that's what I found out afterward. Fun stuff to learn, eh? When I stumbled upon this album, it identified as an electric album, which in a regard, yes, I do believe that. But when I try to explain what this album is like to someone else, I'd like to say, in my mind, I would say that this is kind of like what I would say is a beginning stage, perhaps, for an artist such as James Blake or Bonnie Iver. And that bothers me ever so slightly, not because you can't have an artist compared to those two. Having more music like that would be pretty interesting. It's just that this is the fifth album under this alias that this artist has, and it feels a little rookie-ish. That doesn't mean that there aren't good points in here. I have highlights I want to mention. For example, the first song, Home. This beat I can get into super quick. Mm, mm, yeah, you know how it is. Kind of like a, kind of, kind of an old-fashioned breakbeat inside this one. And then maybe more along the lines of what I mentioned before, you have songs like Lime. That is a plus for me, as well as the song Ravi. Now that's where the biggest highlights lie. The rest of the production has plenty of good ideas, but it can get clunky, it can seem like a bit much, it feels me. I don't know if oversaturated is exactly the right way to look at it, but it does feel like it borders on a bit much. Songs like New Jade have these background vocals that are a little too distracting, even though despite the fact that they do not last throughout the entire song, you just tell yourself it doesn't last forever, it doesn't last forever, but you don't want to tell yourself that when you listen to a song. The song Filtered Grand Piano actually does sound good, but it's cut way too short. A lot of the times when I have creative disagreements or differences to be minute, about other artists' projects. I'm not sure which one I lean on more if I would take certain elements away or if I would add certain elements. Recently, I feel like it's adding. And here, probably is taking away. There's enough in here to be interested, but there's not enough consistency for me to want to think that others who may listen to this are going to stick around. The highlights, you can take those away. I hope that you like the clips that I add, but everything else, you can take a chance on it and maybe you'll like it more than I did. I don't dislike this at all. I just find that since it is a fifth album, I'm just like, it does feel like it's a beginning rather than I've done this before kind of feel. Simple enough to the point. I guess I don't have too much else to add. Let's wrap it up. So after having listened and reviewed this album with production of 83%, creativity, 75%, expression and lyrics, 85%, I want to give this album a good. Enough things to give praiseworthy credit, but not too much for me to want to revisit the album as a whole. I will take away the highlights that I enjoyed. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you want to discover, promote, and review the best in entertainment, remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff down below so you can get that yes in your life. See you next time.
Yeah, she's going on.